Close your eyes. Find your breath. Think of the breath enveloping the whole body. And try to stay tuned in to the breath. In other words, don't tune into other things that are also there in the body or around the body. Today is going to be a hot day. We're going to have a heat wave, actually, this week. And the trick is how not to suffer from the heat wave. You have to let the heat do its thing. You find as relatively cool a spot as you can. Sit down and tell yourself the heat is none of your business. Your business is the breath. Don't bring the heat into the mind. The heat's already there in the body, but you don't have to bring it into the mind. And that way you find that you suffer a lot less. Because once you start thinking about the heat, then you think about how you don't like it and how, you know, what are you doing here this time of year. And all those thoughts are pretty useless. They don't help you see what's actually going on, how you're creating suffering for yourself, which is the big issue. So remember, it's not the heat that's making the problem for the mind. It's the mind's commentary. I mean, the damage that the heat can do to your body, you can take care of that. Make sure you drink plenty of liquids, get plenty of salt. We are on the edge of a desert here. So once you've taken care of the body that way, okay, then now you've got to take care of the mind. Give the mind plenty to think about in terms of the breath, where the breath is flowing smoothly in the body, where it's not flowing smoothly. What you can do to improve the spots where it's not flowing smoothly. That's giving you plenty right there to think about and to work with. And once things are going well, how do you maintain them? Because it's all too easy. Once things get comfortable a little bit, you get a little bit lazy and get a little bit complacent. And then the other thoughts in the mind start nibbling away at the edges of your concentration, and after a while it's all gone. So once it's comfortable in the body, once there's a sense of ease with the breath energy, don't, don't just rest there. You have to rest and at the same time be, be vigilant. It's like having a cache of food out in the, out in the wilderness. If you just leave the food out in the open, everybody is going to come and eat it. Once you've got your cache of food, you've got to protect it. You feed on it, but at the same time you protect it. That way nothing can nibble away at it, and then it can be a good foundation for you. And keep your mind occupied with that, and then you don't have to be occupied with the heat or the cold or whatever is happening outside. When you've got something good in the mind, make sure you protect it. It's part of right effort. You give rise to what's skillful, and but once it's there, you do your best to protect it and help it grow. It's not the case that you give rise to it and then you just wallow around it for a while until it runs out. There are ways of maintaining it. And it's in the maintaining that the meditation becomes a skill and also provides you a lot of insights into the mind as to what would pull it away from a nice, comfortable place. So when you begin to see your own defilements, when you see these things nibbling away at your concentration, that too gives you something to work on. So when your hands are full with the work of the meditation, they're not going to be picking up things like the heat or the dryness or whatever. Let those things simply be an affair of the body. You've got to watch after the mind. <laughs>